welcome to the Natural Health Podcast, where we bring awareness of sustainable health in the business hustle space. Natural Health Podcast is perfect for the high-performing, business-minded individuals who want to work with their biochemistry to achieve optimal health. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for What Would I Do segment. In today's episode of Natural Health Podcast, we discuss this week's question. All questions are kept confidential, and I read them and answer them as if it was me. Hence why it's called, What Would I Do Wednesday? The information provided is not to be taken as advice and is solely for information purposes only. I'm not here to treat, cure, or provide medical advice. I'm here to educate and inform you so you're able to take steps towards optimal health. Please discuss any medical healthcare issues with your healthcare professional. Let's get into today's question. And I've had this question not once, but a number of times. So it's quite an interesting one. The question is, I am wondering, what are your thoughts on eating one meal per day? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing this and for it to be dinner around 6 p.m., which means I would not eat any food for 23 hours. What are your thoughts? Let's look at this, right? Let's look at the whole phenomenon of one meal a day, which is actually called Oh mad, oh mad, oh one meal a day, O M A D, right? It's practiced by many people and they swear by it for weight loss, improved overall health, and so forth, right? So there are many different fasting regimes, such as the 16 8, fasting for 16 hours, eating for eight hours. Um, there's the one where people um, have restricted times of eating and so forth. But this one in particular is talking about not eating anything for 23 hours and then eating for an hour, right? And these individuals mostly consume their dinner like you have asked in your question right so some choose breakfast some choose lunch but it's mainly dinner because it makes it more social right because you're with your family probably in dinner time and friends you're not you're probably working during breakfast and lunch so you're not with around people and family right so the thing is is the the, the thing you need to consider is they don't consume anything containing calories during the fasting window right That's crazy. Nothing containing calories, right? So some health benefits that may be related to fasting, not particularly this, but just fasting can be reduced heart risk, decreased blood sugar and reduced inflammation, okay? And maybe weight loss because due to the restriction of calories or other things that may be taking place in your body, right? So so researchers has linked fasting to a number of health benefits, like I said, reduced blood sugar, heart disease, cholesterol, and so forth. And it's also been, fasting has been linked to promoting longevity, which is quite an interesting study, right, and on animal study. Other studies have also shown that eating one day per meal may increase fasting blood sugar levels, delay the body's response to insulin, and increase levels of appetite stimulating hormone ghrelin compared to three meals a day, right? It can lead to extreme hunger, right, which messes with our hormones. Um, The restricted calories to one meal a day have a chance of you actually getting hypoglycemia or low blood sugar lower, especially those individuals who have diabetes. Uh, So a blood sugar imbalance and so forth may happen to individuals, right? This is different for all the individuals, right? The other thing is also that eating one meal a day may lead to disordered eating tendencies. So individuals who have an eating disorder, this may not be the best thing to do because it may trigger the eating disorders. It can impact your social life depending on you and it can be extremely difficult to stick to, right? But the one thing that I find huge on this is the fact that are you getting enough nutrients in one meal? I'm not talking about macros. I'm not talking about protein, fat, and carbohydrates. I'm talking about nutrients, the minerals, the micronutrients, right? These are the things that I'm talking about, which can lead to nutrient deficiencies, right? Which can have a negative effect to your health. You may lose weight, right? You may lose weight, but you may be putting your health in a crisis stage, right? The other thing is for some people that follow this OMAD, let's call OMAD diet, one meal a day. Usually what happens is they binge on processed high calorie foods, such as fast food, pizza, donuts, ice cream, and so forth. All this sugar, they can eat that one meal a day. And they're like, I can eat anything. It doesn't matter because I'm only eating for an hour. I can eat whatever I can eat. That may be an issue, right? That is a huge issue. So 
One thing that it can do is on the benefits side, it can increase focus and production, right? Because you're eliminating the sluggishness of your digestive system not functioning properly and having to digest uh, so much food. But that may mean you may have an issue with your digestive system, not an issue of eating three meals a day. Uh, weight loss, it might have diet freedom, right? Because you're like, I don't have to think about what I'm eating for breakfast. I don't have to think about my snacks. I don't have to think about lunch. All I have to think about is dinner. How amazing is that, right? For some people, right? The other thing is, is you may feel very hungry, which is you might feel a fatigue, a slump of energy, shaky, weak, irritable, moody, have difficulty concentrating. So these are some of those things, right? And it can also, so research also concluded that eating one meal a day can have a negative impact on genes that help regulate the body's clock, sleep, well cycle and metabolism. This is a huge issue. Let's get into the questions. What questions? would I ask, right? Why are you doing this? Do you have diabetes? Do you suffer from a eating disorder? Are you pregnant or breastfeeding? How is your thyroid function? How is your blood glucose level? Do you have an underlying medical condition such as diabetes and so forth? Are you an athlete, right? How is your digestive system, your digestive enzymes, your functions, right? How well, how will you ensure that you're getting enough nutrients? Are you highly stressed? Are you on medications that need food? Do you exercise, right? And there's so many more questions that you can ask, but these are some of the main ones, right? So what would I do, right? First of all, I myself would not follow this every single day due to the nutrient deficiency that may occur. One mineral can hinder the absorption of another, right? So for example, if we take... Uh, iron and zinc can't take them together because they uh, absorb one absorbs the other and so forth right they're not supposed to be taken together but in your meal you're having them all at once which means what's your body going to take which which minerals which which, which what is it going to take what's your body going to take right so this may cause a mineral vitamin nutrient deficiency right for your body you may be losing weight but your body may not be as functioning as optimally as possible so uh what would i do i would maybe do this once a week not every single day right and if i do this i would make sure that i supplement minerals vitamins nutrients to ensure that i'm not deficient right um what i would also do is if i was going to do this i would extend the eating period to two to three hours not 10 minutes right I wouldn't just scuff down the food. I'll make sure I plan it out so I don't binge on that pizza, okay? If I was to follow it, it would probably be at breakfast. It would not be at dinner time, right? Uh, the reason why is because research says that eating breakfast may aid glucose control later in the day and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, right? So, and the other one is just because you can eat anything during that hour, you probably shouldn't. It's not a long period of time diet. So it's not an ongoing thing. It's a short term thing. It's something that you do for a short period of time. Like I said, I would probably do it one day a week if I wanted to, if this is something that I really wanted to do, if I wanted to try it out, right? One day a week, max two days a week. I will not do it every single day for months. This will cause havoc on your body. You may lose weight, you may get the results, but it's how much are you impacting your thyroid, your metabolism, your sleep wake cycle, right? I would take digestive enzymes to help break down the food because if I'm eating such a large amount of food at once, poor, my body is just going to go into havoc, right? The benefit, I guess, of it would be that I would maybe, or maybe I'll save time, money, and it'll make me disciplined. And this is why maybe I would do one day a week. It may have a social issue with me because, you know, I like to eat with family and friends. They might not be able to do that. So that's something to take in consideration, right? I would keep a diary for my digestion. What am I eating? What time am I eating this? What effects is this having on me? So overall, with the one meal a day diet, OMAD, it's something that is not long term. It's something that you need to manage correctly with a healthcare professional that understands you that you and the digestion issue might be a digestive issue in regards to digestive enzymes and so forth. So it is something that you need to discuss for you as an individual. I've put in there my thoughts and what I would do. And I hope I shed some light to this question or anyone that's listening who may have this question, right? If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at mahalo.raguz on Instagram and I'll be in touch with you and hopefully be able to answer your question via the Natural Health Podcast. Remember, you're not alone on this journey to optimal health. I'm here to assist you and make this journey a pleasant one. Until next Wednesday.
love you